Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is your Virgo reading from October 12th to the 16th. There's hundreds and millions of Virgos out there, so this is not going to resonate with everybody. It's a general reading. Also, feel free to stop around the energies. Uh, I could be talking to a cross watcher, okay? So let's see, Virgo. <coughs> oh, I took like a big breath and I like swallowed all that incense smoke. <coughs> okay, Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. Two more shuffles for Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. Last shuffle, Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. Okay, Virgo, unfinished symphony. So it looks like, ooh, new life and a leg up. So it looks like somebody may be coming in. They need your help or, you know, you're going to be cutting off people because you want to help yourself, right? It's a new life. But it looks like, you know, there's unfinished business here with the past person, Virgo. Let's take a look. Yeah, passion ignited. This is normally the ace of wands in this deck, which is a passionate new beginning. So Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. October 12th to the 16th, Virgo. Last shuffle. October 12th to the 16th, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So right off the bat, we have stand your ground. So if you want to help somebody out, uh, somebody's coming in, uh, you know, to, you know, they need your help. Um, just, you know, make sure you're being wise. Yeah. Uh, wow. This person could be pregnant, wanting to get pregnant, or just wants the relationship to grow between you guys. This looks like it is divinely guided by the universe, Virgo, to be honest with you. So, yeah, you could be grounding your wants and your needs. Yeah, so it looks like, Virgo, here, stand your ground, okay? It looks honestly like you're being rewarded by the universe for your spiritual strength, victory, and success, right? And you're getting your fulfillment of wishes here. You know, you're getting what you wished for. October 12th to the 16th, Virgo. Two more shuffles, October 12th to the 16th, Virgo. Last shuffle, Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. You could be dealing with a Cancer Virgo, but you see that yin to the yang? You guys are going to be moving forward in a positive direction, okay? This is going to be a balanced situation. You guys could also be traveling right now. Yeah, you're going to get communication from somebody. It could also be because Mercury in retrograde is today. You see, somebody's going to reach out to you, okay? And with the Page of Pentacles, that's, that's a valuable information. So somebody's going to share, like, some sort of message to you and it's gonna be like an apology or yeah see judgment somebody could be going through karma queen of cups here or just somebody's making decisions about you and with the queen of cups you could love them they could love you and maybe in the past you you distanced yourself from this person they distanced from you they left you out in the cold um you gave them the cold shoulder take it how it resonates yeah two of pentacles they were probably juggling you or them they had more than one situation you know or let me check Okay, no, they had just had a lot of responsibilities. They had a lot of obligations that they had to take care of. And that's kind of what they were overthinking. And now with the Six of Pentacles, you know, I feel like this uh, Five of Pentacles here, this person might be drowning, okay? Because, um, you know, and with the Six of Pentacles, they want your help. Maybe you helped them out in the past. And with the Ace of Swords, you know, you could have stood up for yourself. Um, or you started to clear up your mind and you realized that this person, Queen of Cups, you know, very sexy, very confident. This could be you or them, right? Um, you're very sexy. You're very confident. And yeah, the death card. You're like, no, things have to change. And you stood your ground. With, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio. So let's see. Virgo, what is this fulfillment of wishes for Virgo? Wow, Virgo. So maybe this is what you wanted. You wanted this person to come back. Maybe you wanted to co-create with them and help them out. They help you. You scratch their back. They scratch your back. Right? With the Six of Cups. And, you know, it's like you wanted them back. Queen of Swords. You know, somebody stood up for themselves and they started speaking clearly about things. With the Sun card here, it's, um, look, and this is Virgo at the bottom of the deck. You know, you could have turned your back on certain people or they did and, you know, started looking up at the light. With the Sun here, it's this, um, things were illuminated, okay? Things came to light. Whatever happens in the dark always comes to light, right? Nine of Pentacles. So somebody could have... Um, you know, the Knight of Pentacles upside down, that's somebody who, who they, they, you know, they, they, they're not, they look nice, okay, they dress nice, they're attractive, um, but 
they just they're not really um they don't really have money and maybe that's something you you realized about this person with the knight of pentacles this could be you or them right uh both the masculine here you know somebody realized that they were talking the talk but not walking the walk you know and that's something that you or this person had to work on because they weren't really in their authentic self you see nine of wands this person could have been saying what people wanted to hear because they were insecure and let's see virgo what can we be expecting for this week can you stop telling me about the past there you go yeah see again you're gonna get what you want somebody's gonna reach out to you um the strength card this is something that yeah wow so you could be dealing with the leo or a high priestess the four of cups see this could have been a missed opportunity in the past here and with the high priestess you could be dealing with somebody who's um pretty much uh they could be a tarot card reader but the high priestess is somebody who's highly intuitive okay she could just be a clairvoyant a psychic of some sort meditating with the four of swords upside down somebody lacks the strength to fight for their own point of view and that's what's causing the stagnation in this relationship but it says here you know it's not finished stand your ground it looks like this person is going to reach out to you virgo you are them right king of wands see somebody was more chasing their dreams in the past and now king and queen of wands you know now it's like you guys are now a match last shuffle for virgo with this deck october 12th to the 16th what can we be expecting yeah, so you could be solely focused on money right now, not focusing on anything else with the Two of Swords. You know, you're focused on your stability. What about this person for Virgo? Yeah, this person is patiently planning how to come back in. The Empress card. So you could have been helping a mom. You wanted this person to be the, the mother of your kids, or you are a mom, right? And with the Six, with six of Pentacles, you know, so you could have wanted this person. They wanted you. You really loved them in the past. They really loved you in the past, right? And now it's this, you know, this person's looking at things from a different perspective. You are them. And with all that green here, this is heart chakra. And with that blue, that's communication, okay? So it looks like somebody's going to be communicating from the heart this week, Virgo. Yeah, see, it says um, express your love. So if it's if you're like a, a masculine figure, it's saying here to go ahead and express your love. So October 12th to the 16th, Virgo. Last shuffle. See, it says give your relationship a chance, Virgo. Uh, but union with this person is 100% up to you, okay? I'm just saying what the messages I pick up. So Virgo, October 12th to the 16th. Yeah, this was a past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. And soulmate right there yes this is a, your soulmate so virgo october 12th to the 16th tell me about this week holy spirit please tell me about this week october 12th to the 16th virgo this week last shuffle can i get one more card there you go october 12th to the 16th virgo so soulmate true love honeymoon you see Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So this is like the Six of Swords to me. Again, you guys could be traveling, going somewhere where there's water, crossing water. But this is also balancing your emotions here, okay? Passion and give your relationship a chance, okay? You guys have known each other before. It could have been a strong sexual relationship because honestly, this guy looks like he's going to sleep with her in every single picture. <laughs> but over here, it says give your relationship a chance, Virgo, okay? Okay. You know, this guy, he's looking at this girl here very intensely. Um, try to have some trust. You know, for some reason, I feel like there's a lack of trust. Uh, try to have some trust, okay? This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, guys? I'm going to go to close it off here. This helped you guys out in any way. You guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later, all right? Bye.